is for Tyler. As someone with a very large online presence, how has investing in your personal brand changed your life and your business? And the second part is, what advice would you give to those that are interested in building their own personal brand? Yeah, that's a great question. So I'm going to answer them in reverse because uh, they're kind of going to play together. But I am a marketer. I might be in commercial real estate, but I am a marketer. And I feel like a lot of people don't really take that to heart with their job because everyone's in marketing. You know, yeah, maybe you do sales, but you've got to convince this person to buy from you. And what are you going to show them to have them give you a call, right? Like there's, there's a lot of those um, aspects of any role in business where you've got to attract the right people. And so, uh, gosh, I guess it was probably five years ago COVID time. It was probably seven years ago. I just, I don't know what, I don't even know what year it is. Seven years ago, I got into Instagram because I saw the opportunity there for commercial real estate. When I first got started about 10 years ago in the business, there was no information out there on commercial real estate. There were like three books on Amazon that were horrific to read and super boring and two podcasts, one of which had stopped, you know, recording like two years before. So that was rough. And it, uh, because of that, I got into following residential real estate and how they market themselves. And I think that there's still something missing today in how commercial real estate uh, really approaches that side of the business that residential just nails. They are incredible marketers. And there's something that everybody in here that's in this business can take away from that because they have massive online presences. And so I started looking at Instagram. Well, there's, back then, uh, there was almost nobody on Instagram and commercial real estate. So I started just sharing the behind the scenes lifestyle of what it looks like to be in commercial real estate, doing these deals in Nashville. Nobody cares for you to just post something every day that says, buy this, rent this space for me, do business with me. No one cares, right? Like it, it may be good for your business to post that kind of stuff every now and then. But all I did was, hey, look at this, you know, space that we're touring, check out how cool it is. And people can infer what you do without you having to shove it down their throat. And so that was, that was kind of how I got into it. I wanted to have all of these fishing hooks out in the water while I was hunting so that if I wasn't successful on the hunt that day, I had something else sitting at home, right? So I had the Instagram, I wrote a book, we started a YouTube channel, I've got a podcast. There are so, and networking was a huge one. There are so many different ways that you can kind of create these little fishing lines for your business through marketing that I think are, are incredibly important and that everybody should be focused on. Thank you, Tyler. And if anybody does want to connect with his marketing materials, we just posted something yesterday on LinkedIn. So that'll take you and get you everything you need to know.